Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okay, so i starting the stream at this point here. I just loaded in Fresh New World. Um, I restarted my computer uh, because I made a super duper mistake. I put Shulker uh, mob inside the mob duplicator. And uh, I guess they have the ability to teleport immediately after being summoned because this entire top floor and the floor under it were covered with shulkers. Even the outside, like, stuck to the wood. Uh, I had shulkers stuck out there. And I think in all of the pockets where I uh, have a torch up so mobs don't spawn, I think shulkers spawned in those too. So I can still hear them shooting, but I think they're in, like, all of the walls and wherever the holes in the walls are. It's super frustrating. I'm going to have to hunt them down one at a time. So, on the fly, I switched out the uh, shulker. I switched out the shulker uh, mob imprisonment ball, the pokeball, with a silverfish, just because, you know, I'm, I'm eventually going to earn all of the trophies. And I just noticed this blaze spawned outside. And it's just quicker for me to kill it with the pickaxe than to bust out my my sword so I tucked my sword away that's weird because the blaze spawner I have it right there on the back wall so I don't know how he spawned over here I don't think the spawner reaches that far but I'm probably wrong um, let's see do we have anything cool in here yeah nothing too exciting but I wanted to start working towards gathering the other trophies from the other mobs I'll switch it out whenever I need something specific, or, uh, what's it called? Or when I need specific mob drops. That's kind of frustrating. I put holes in the wall because my pick is too strong. Let me just plug that real quick. I know that's a, a different type, but it's better than a hole. Uh, Ender Pouch, how are you doing? Everything from the Void Ore Miner Tier 5 is going to the Space Station. The Void Resource Miner. Tier 2 is also going to the space station. Uh, let me see. I know I uh, put a blaze spawner in the mob farm because uh, I ran out of, out of blaze rods. So uh, that is taken care of now. Uh, so yeah, that's a quick update on that. What I want to start on today is uh, I think I have enough nether stars. Because we dropped in a bunch of stacks. Yeah, 417 nether stars. Just from dropping in massive quantities of wither skulls and soul sand and just having it run the gauntlet. And there's that one fake one that we got that Trin bought from the uh, Shady Merchant. So let's see. Yeah, I want to break this guy down. I'll break him down and take him with me. I keep forgetting that when you're flying it makes it so that you mine slower. All right, so let me vein mine this. There we go. And I gotta be careful that I don't overshoot or hold it down too long. It'll, I'll vein mine the wall behind it if I can reach it. That really is a pain in the butt. All right. That should be laser cores. That's the laser light. That's the core. Okay, good. At least I can reach the two. There we go. Should I get rid of the glowstone for right now? It's so distracting. It's dis disorienting. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. And then yeah, I put slabs in front of it to break up the the uh, what's it called? The purple was a little bit too thick 
you know, like it, it was a little bit disorienting. So yeah, like let's do that and I'll bring some more sea lanterns later if I need them. Let's see, let me switch my picks. I should have been using my silk touch because I think I'm pretty sure I broke those sea lanterns now. Whoop. So yeah, some of them fell. What is this, just a random pocket? All right. Anything else fall? These weird little pockets. It's probably, no, I don't know. Is that basalt? Cool. All right, teleport. All right, so it's a little laggy, a little janky right now, because uh, I lo I've freshly loaded, so it's kind of off off kilter a little bit. All right, so let's go void or minor. Tier six. Uh, okay, so we need athium. That's no problem. Iridium neutron. We need more of these again. Dense copper plates. Iridium reinforced plate. Advanced alloys. Let's see if we can make those. I need... How many do I need? Two. Okay, cool. Thick neutron. Neutron reflectors. We need copper plates. We need copper plates, pulverized coal, and tin. We need a lot of pulverized coal. So let me do the bookmark. Wardor Miner Tier 6A to bookmark. We need this guy. So we need 12 of these. 12, we need uh, 48 of these. Shift click. Oh, I can't shift click them. No, I can. What was it? 48. Good. Cool. There you go. One, two, three. All right, that, 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 this. Sweet, 12, this, this. And now we need the dense copper plates, compressor or pressurizer, I think I, I don't think I made the pressurizer, so let me go make the let me go get the compressor real quick. So I can also take uh, this opportunity to uh, show you all the base, the moon base. Clear structure panels. We'll put that up. We'll put that up. I, I need the plug. We'll put this up. That. And let's see, is there anything? RTG pellets. Pellets of RTG is now not a problem because a couple of episodes ago, I uh, made sure that we were gonna take care of plutonium. So I can use plutonium. The dense iron plates, I'll have to make those as well. So iron and copper. Yeah, iron and copper plates. All right, and then backspace, pellets of RTG fuel. So plutonium, let me see, are they all in tiny form? Plutonium, they're all in tiny form. Let me do one thing, so I don't want it to be killing me immediately. I'm not sure if just picking it up like this causes it. So we need, Six, do seven, because I click too fast. Alrighty, and let's see, let's make a pattern while we're here. I want to avoid going to the space station multiple times. So we want a pattern for the void, no we don't, for the structure, panel, no, frame, tier six, is going to be Athium Crystals, Tier 5, and Nether Stars. 
pattern mode. Get you here and this, and then put you in the molecular assembler. All right, and then let's see. I got 72 tier five, tier six. I know it's 92, or I think it's around 92. I, I, I forgot the numbers. Uh, well, I can easily look that up, right? Just have to do this and then that. So we need 92. Okay, I was gonna make 100 just because I plan on upgrading the resource miner to tier six two as well. So uh, any excess would have been fine. So let's go 100 minus 10 plus 2. And let's see, are we missing anything at all? Start. Oh, wow. That is so much quicker than I thought it was going to be. That's 92. So then we need structure panels. We have 60. And let me check structure frame tier 6, the dinger. I totally forgot about dingers because I'm not accepting the quest rewards anymore. Um, we need 56 structure panels. So we have more. Like it went, I guess it went down again. Six laser cores. Okay, it still uses the same amount of laser cores and we'll use the same laser lens. And we only need 56. All right. 92, 56, six and one. And then the null speed or accuracy, we need 20. Let's go speed, eight. And I put the accuracy, eight. So we need another four in total. So let's make those four speed upgrades. Yeah, speed upgrades will, uh, eat a lot more power but speed is better than accuracy because uh, speed covers everything that it makes accuracy only covers what the laser lens covers so let's make some null modifiers which we're probably gonna need more interconnect yeah interconnect we need four sweet I'm glad that this is rolling well. Oh, I jinxed it now. <laughs> now something detrimental is going to happen, right? Four, and then let's turn you into speed. Oh god, I didn't. I wish I didn't have to reach around my microphone all the time. No modifier, and then let's wait. This one. There we go. Four. Yeah. So that's twenty in total. So now all we need to do is make the uh, void ore miner tier six. Grab that. Oh, I forgot to put on my helmet. Ah! Hopefully, I didn't throw my helmet. Now I know I clicked it. Did I throw the helmet? I threw the helmet, and I don't know where. Great. I can make it. I can't believe I threw my helmet. I think I threw it in the overworld. Hopefully. I threw it before I teleported. Oh my god, did I throw it into the void? No, there it is. It was probably there and I was just so flustered that I looked right past it. Okay. Let me put my helmet back on. That's nice. I made this super expensive atmosphere analyzer so that I know when I'm in a vacuum and when I can take the helmet off. 
because the the GUI drives me crazy and I'm not I haven't I've been lazy I haven't looked up how to if you can remove the GUI while wearing the helmet all right so second try uh, I'm going to reserve this entire top floor for ingots so I'm slowly working I'm filling this in while making sure that all of the ME interfaces work with all of the P2Ps and all of the channels. It's a little complicated for me. It's my first time learning and making something on this big of a scale. Uh, my previous mod packs, I've only worked with one ME controller. And uh, this one, I'm working with seven. I'm trying to use the P2Ps to make channels and autocraft. And I'm going to stop being scared of autocrafting and really learn how to make it work. So yeah, it's uh, oxygen is still working. I spent the weekend because uh, I uh, hit Friday, so over the weekend I didn't stream, I spent time with Trinity, and uh, I moved some of our stuff up into space. So I moved the calcium sulfate, I moved that up here, and I put it up vertically, which was a pain in the butt to do, because some of the machines are three-dimensional with where stuff has to be plugged in. I found out that this machine, the chemical oxidizer, has to have a basic pressurized tube. It would not use the ender gas conduit. Uh, and then I have, so I have this, this is the same setup, same cables and everything. Uh, sulfur goes in here, fluoride goes in here, calcium sulfide comes out here. And then I'm, I'm making sure that I'm doing the cables right and everything. Oh yeah, so I don't have a wireless access to this ME system. So let me pull out the iron and the copper, or let me do plates. Okay, I need copper plates. So I let's do, uh, no, not a thousand. Let's do a hundred. Block of copper missing, really? Okay. So up here I don't have one, two, three, four, five. Let's do some of that. I could have sworn that I tossed a lot of copper into the system. So this complicated setup right here, I'll explain next episode because uh, I have a couple of episodes that I'm just going to be talking in because I've already placed this stuff. So this is or quadrupling times four right here. And then this is times five, but it's going to take me an episode to explain how I plugged it all in. It took me all of all of Saturday night a couple of hours so instead of putting it together and editing all of my mistakes out of that many hours I just made sure that I got this thing working and then I'll do a 30 minute episode explaining how I plugged it all in I think that'll be a lot better there goes all of the copper times four is good enough right now the uh, times five, unfortunately, is uh, uh, a lot slower because it can only do one stack at a time. Okay, so I don't have a pattern for iron, so I need processing pattern for iron plate. We'll do that. We'll do the block cutting machine. I am in love with this machine now because it takes an entire block and immediately cuts it into nine way faster than using the immersive engineering press. Uh, and then I also need the dense copper. Yep, dense copper. We'll do that one. And we need dense iron. We'll do this one too, as well. All right. And then, I, let me see how many iron ingots I have. Iron is fine. So let's see, are they... How am I on plates? I'll do 100 plates of these as well. And I'm pretty sure by the time I fly over there, those 100 plates will be done. If not, almost. Look at that. Nine at a time. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine, and yeah, with eight overclockers so far. So I need the compressor. Oh yeah, and I moved all of IC2 up into the space station. Compressor takes these two. All right. 
But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do one episode maybe to explaining everything that I did over the weekend because it was a lot of trial and error and I didn't want to sub like make y'all suffer through that. Uh dense iron plates. Let's make 4. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need twelve. Uh, eight more. And let's, since I don't have the overclockers ready right now, I can tick accelerate the compressor for now. But yeah, I also am going to explain this system I have here. Uh, I have distilled water with lapis making IC2 coolant that's pumping into here to make overclocker upgrades. So I'll explain that as well. Okay, so we got our, uh, our dense iron. We'll take that out of the system. The 12 we need here. And then we need dense copper. Uh, let's also let's just do twenty. One, two, three, four. I just need four. Okay, but that's cool. Um, let me also order some overclockers since I noticed that the uh, IC two coolant was full. So I'll order 12 of those. The IC2 coolant also needs uh, n is a crucial uh, ingredient to making uh, primal mana later. IC2 coolant is required for that. That's why I went ahead and I was like, ah, double duty, I'll make some overclockers because I was not expecting this change to happen. You saw that with with one unit and with 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 no overclockers and then with 12 so that makes me super happy take six out of here I don't know why you're making oh well, whatever I, I'm pretty sure oh the overclockers need the the rods so I had to make a metal former for extruding and the metal former for rolling so that it changed it up the rolling of course makes the 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 item casings that are kind of annoying. All right. So let's toss the plates back in. We got 10 more overclockers. Wow, that's nice. 12 overclockers, there you go. Craftable, let's set another 20. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough, but AFKing this, uh, when I come back later, it'll work. Dense. And then one, two, three, four is all I needed. I'm gonna take all of them just in case I was silly and I miscounted. And I think that's all we needed for at the space station for right now. I'm really looking forward to moving everything up there, everything that's required, so that it can get to a point where uh, if I need something, I can either make it on the space station from that point on or move it to the space station. I'd really like that. Oh, we already had two dense plates, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, let's make one. What were those called? Neutron? Where did they go? Okay, they're here. Like that. Two of those. The pal oh wait, let me make sure because I'm not sure if I plus this, if it will count as me holding it. If that makes sense. So RTG fuel, like this. I don't think these matter, right? It's kind of weird that there's two crafts and all it is horizontal and vertical. But I need two of these. I don't know if the pellet of RTG fuel is radioactive, but I don't want to test that out. Void or crafting terminal, void or where's the plus button? Athium bricks, athium. There we go. One, two, three, four. 
I'll just put you in manually since you're being difficult. And where's my tier? There you are. Is that not it? Tier six, tier five, tier five, pellets of RTG fuel, athium, iridium neutron reflectors, pellets of RTG fuel, pellets of RTG fuel, athium, iridium, neutron reflectors, and the void or minor controller tier five. Why is this not working? And why is there no plus button? Oh, it needs to be done in the basic crafting. So luckily, luckily for us, well, we've already done that. And yeah, you moved everything into the, the unit. So Atheum, Neutron, two of these, Pellet, two of these. We need the, uh, that's it. The void or minor. There we go. And let's teleport into the basement real quick. And still won't let me plus. So let me just do this manually. I'm hoping I can just do this here. Thank you, Voidor Miner, tier six. There we go. Part of me wants to just put it right here because I know I have the space here for it. Nah. So mechanism, and let's see. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And up one, and then let me. This is all chiseled stone, so yeah, I can vein mine it. And let's grab the wrench the assembler and right click hold down right click let me check something real quick it is one too low I guess I could have just remove the void or miner and done this Okay, so let's do this one more time. All right, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where'd you go? There you are. go put you there and now I can vein mine this stuff away there you go bam and let me fly up and put you back together holding down right click Assembled true. Wonderful. Cool. Let's get you hooked up again to power to the flex network. Bam. And you're set. Wow. I can't do speed upgrades. I can't. 2.1 million just for this unit? 
That's nuts. That is nutty. I mean, the nuclear reactor right now is powering the space station and the void ore miner, but I definitely cannot do... Not yet. I can't do... I cannot do a void ore miner that's running at 2.1 million RF. I can't. Wow. But... Draconium ore. Boom shakalaka. That's what I wanted. Wow. So yeah, like, I'll have to take the the speed upgrades out. <laughs> I, just for now. For now. Because that is nutty. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine if I did uh, the other eight accuracy upgrades as speed upgrades as well? This thing would probably... What? It's it if it's three like half and half, a little bit over half, it should break three million, if not even four million RF a tick to run this thing on full speed upgrades. Wow. Right now I can deal with it because uh I'm not I'm not using the nuclear reactor for that much outside of uh, the Void Ore Miner, but wow, that is just nuts. So uh, that's that's the Void Ore Miner Tier 6, that's what I wanted to complete today. Uh, one thing that I did off camera as well is I got all of the... Hello Questing Ram. I got everything required to... Oh, did you run out of juice now? No. Why aren't you going? Oh, you ran out of malachite, of course. I did some empowered diamantine crystals. I can talk about that on another episode. Uh, but uh, this is D-Day. Uh, we made the Void Ore Miner Tier 6 together. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and tune in tomorrow.